Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Center, where senior night is spoiled by the Miami Redhawks here on the parquet as Miami wins 73-61, to withstanding a late Kent State charge. I'm Ty Linder. The Golden Flashes came roaring into this ballgame, having knocked off the Ohio Bobcats last weekend in Athens, and they were looking for the regular season sweep of the Miami Redhawks. Will Sullivan had a handful. The Redhawks as a team, a perfect 7-4-7 from three-point land as they built, at one point, a 24-point lead. But the Golden Flashes were undeterred and made one of those memorable Max Center runs. But off the bench came K.K. Simmons to spark the Golden Flashes at both ends of the court. Five for seven was Simmons from the floor in the ballgame and came up with three big steals, including one where he was the only player left at Kent State's end of the court, got the steal and score, and that really seemed to get the KSU run in motions. Great play by K.K. Simmons. It's only a second field goal, but it is a large one, and the lead is to 14. And a wing down low, Oswald banks in, off, offensive foul. Got it down to eight at one point on an 18 to three run. There were and ones, there were threes, there were steals, fast breaks, but a lot of energy was used in that comeback. It was senior night as we mentioned, so we do say goodbye here in the regular season to Mark Henniger and Darren Goodson. Mark Henniger, who finished up four for four from the floor for the ball game. He was perfect at the line three for three. He added three rebounds on 11 total points. He had one assist and he blocked four shots. Darren Goodson finishes up two for eight. He was also perfect at the free throw line. Going three for three, he added six rebounds as well and a steal in his minutes. So we certainly appreciate all we've seen from Mark Henniger and Darren Goodson in their Flashes uniforms throughout the years. Now all is not lost for the Golden Flashes. They still have one regular season game to go and it is a rivalry game. The PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge Round 2 comes up at the jar on Friday night. Kent State still a lot to play for. They could still be back here at the Max Center on Monday for a Mid-American Conference first round game, but a lot of crazy scenarios still have to play their way out to see exactly if that takes place. Dave Carducci joins me for the radio call on Friday night. KSU looking for not only a regular season sweep of the Akron Zips, but to take that full point in the PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge. Flashes fall though on senior night to Miami, 73 to 61. I'm Ty Linder. So long, everybody.